Howdy doody to you all. It is a very beautiful autumn morning here on the farm and I thought I would take the opportunity to seize this slightly less ridiculous humidity moment to share with you my soft dramatic hair routine. It is inspired by heaps of photographs that I have seen of Sophia Loren, I guess a more modern muse would be the gorgeous Lana Del Rey. I think that this is a, just a really beautiful hairstyle for soft dramatics. It's a bit of a half up, half down do with the, the bouffant. All right, so a few essentials that you'll need before I show you the process of how I do it. The rat tail comb, very important, or some kind of teasing brush, but I find that this is really lovely and you can really just go into the section and push it down on an angle in a really nice way that doesn't damage the hair too much. I've done a fair bit of research. I'm not a hairdresser, so don't, don't come for me, internet. Uh, but I think there are definitely ways of teasing that are less damaging to the hair. So I've found that this particular comb, it just is very, very lovely. So you can kind of go in on an angle and push down. And when you've got that teasing push down, then you want to take the comb out and then sort of start that again. You don't want to kind of just do this. I don't think that's a very good thing to do. And it's a lot easier to brush out if you do it that way. <laughs> So that could be a whole other video is the deconstruction of the beehive. Secondly, I find a ball bristle brush very, very handy. This pocket size one from Mason Pearson is really lovely for it. Just brushing over the back combing that you've done. And I find that the size of this is just ideal for just tending to this shape here. For my particular hair, I like to use a straightening iron just to work the front bits. And as you can see, just in the humidity even that we have here in our little cottage, it just starts to curl again. And um, yeah, so that's just part of what my hair does and you want some bobby pins and some of these little clips that stop you from hello <laughs> how are you going Sorry. i'm filming Sorry. this is super embarrassing with you here <laughs> i also have these little clips which are really handy for after you've done some straightening they don't leave crimps in your hair so i usually just have one two section off the front bit here and then I come in from the other side here and that's very handy for that and same on the other side and then just a whole bunch of nice quality bobby pins to hold the back in place once you've kind of figured out where you like to place the little gathered section to create a nice profile for yourself and speaking of which it is very handy to have a little pocket mirror so that you can just double check whether or not you've got a nice rounded profile. I find that sometimes it can kind of like create this little shape. There's all sorts of weird shapes I've created, hence some of the frustration that I've experienced in um, not being very good at doing my hair. And yeah, so that a few things to think about. You can kind of, sometimes it can come out the sides here and you end up looking a little bit like a a triceratops, which is a little bit strange, uh, but you can just, <laughs> my husband's laughing at me, <laughs> but you can also, it's very easy, like you, I'm just gonna say, like I just requested that my beautiful husband just not talk to me while I was doing my hair <laughs> so that I could just focus on doing it. Now I'm much better, now I can actually like, speak to people and be a, a normal human being while I'm doing my hair. Mostly, I think actually I, I still prefer the peace and quiet, but that, yeah, that's how bad I am at doing it myself. <laughs> All right, and then you want a good bottle of Firm Hold hairspray. This one is L'Oreal Paris Elnet. I just read some reviews and heard that this was the real deal when it came to doing these kinds of hairstyles. So you could try that out, that would be one that I would recommend that has worked for my particular hair. And then I also have this little clip here and you'll see later that I actually clip away the bottom section of the do. So this little bit that 
that's not part of the bouffant that hangs down. I clip that away and this is just a very, very beautiful hair clip that was made by Rick Werito in sterling silver. I've had this for so many years now and it's just been really, really nice not to have plastic clips that fall apart. I'd love to get a little butterfly clip, um, sterling silver butterfly clip. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, but yeah, I still have to work on the design. I'm, I think I'm gonna try and make one, uh, which will be really, really fun. So anyway, this is the look. And yeah, like I said, it's inspired by lots and lots of different vintage hairstyles that I found, pictures of Sophia Loren, um, I haven't seen too many of Monica Bellucci like this. I'm not really sure what body type Lana Del Rey is, but you know, whether she's flamboyant natural or, or whatever, but she wears her hair in all these kinds of hairstyles quite frequently. And I think they just look absolutely gorgeous on her. But this is a, a very relaxed, messy version of, of that inspiration. So I hope that it helps you. And if you have some success with it, <laughs> which I hope you do, <laughs> if you decide to try it out, please just uh, tag your beautiful photos in Instagram because I'd love to see what you come up with. And if you have any other hot tips, if you're a hairdresser and you actually know what you're doing, then you're very, very welcome to give me some constructive criticism here. I wouldn't mind at all. I very much welcome it. So yeah, thank you. I hope you enjoy.